Hey guys, welcome to my Seaman Says YouTube channel. Watch our interviews with big name stars, highlights from the podcast and more. Hit subscribe and don't forget to like, comment and share. What's your uh, thoughts on um, Tuesday morning, Scott Parker, gone? Um, I'm really surprised if I'm honest. Um, you know, I, I don't think it was the fact that they got beat 9-0 that was the deciding factor. I think there's a little bit of friction between Scott and the, and the board. You know, he, he's come out and said, they said it on numerous occasions where he's saying he's not getting backed. Um, do you need to come out and say that in public, which he has done? No, I would imagine that unless he's had numerous conversation with the board and they've told him that they're not going to be backing him and then he feels like it's all going to be put down on him. So he's trying to, you know, regain some and some some um, credibility by saying it in public. I just I just found it really strange. I guess that's the the thing for a, a manager in that position is you've you've got to balance your reputation mm. with your fans, your supporters, and yeah. obviously the the personnel behind the scenes. Uh, but surely, if a board says to you, "Look, we've got no money," or you know, it's not. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure no no one would go. We're not backing you because we don't necessarily believe in you it's the, the funds aren't here then you've just got to stomach it and go well this is what I've got to deal with I don't think it's any coincidence that the the owner in his statement has mentioned mutual respect you know he's mentioned those mm-hmm. those words and wanting mutual respect so you can tell that how outspoken he's been has been a huge issue I think he perhaps should have yeah. reined it in because he's done it a couple of times in press conferences. I was at one as well where, you know, defensively there is an issue and he was trying to call out to try and get a, a centre back. That's that's the message I was getting. But if you're not going to get that or the transfer funds, and I think another word that's been used by the owner is a sustainable football club. They're not going to be spending money yeah. after money for money's sake. Then he has to be on board with that. I mean, there's a couple of things that I wanted to point out. Um, I think that Parker, having got a team promoted, this is the quickest sacking after that in the Premier League. So if you've been a manager that's taken a team up to the Premier League, I think after four matches, he I can't think of any more. Can you? I think he's the one that's gone the quickest. No, um, no. And I also I also think as well that, you know, he he was very vocal. He's been sacked. He's got the payoff. I can't help but think these things sometimes, whereby <laughs> if he'd have stayed yeah. quiet, you know, all I'm saying is he's a very clever man. If he'd have stayed quiet and carried on with the team after that 9-0, I, and he even said in his post-match he thought that a scoreline that, like that could come again, which I thought was really shocking when he said it. But in this way, he gets paid and he doesn't have to get humiliated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I totally know what you mean, but you know when when you look at the fixtures they had they had Villa at home and then they had like Arsenal City Liverpool isn't it does this show how bad Villa yeah. are as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hopefully they are we'll tell you after Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> after Arsenal have played them <laughs> but yeah you know and then you look at them for them first four games a bit like with Arsenal last season you know they had Brentford then they had Chelsea and Man City and I can't remember who else they had after that but you know, it's you, you ain't guaranteed points out of the first four games. You know, they got three out of the Villa game. And then anything else that they get out of the next three would have been a bonus. But, you know, so that that's where it leads me to think that there's, like what you said, that there's there's been there's friction between him and the board. Mm. And the board have had enough. You know, they've just thought, right, you know, he's, he's hanging us out to dry. We'll they've clearly on. said and, to uh, him, haven't they, mind what you're saying. He's probably been warned the equivalent of a warning um, yeah. because he's been so vocal. And then he's done it again. It's not the first and time he's done do it, do? he's done it numerous times. Yeah. yeah. So you're basically saying he's gone, go on, do it, dare you, dare you. Sam, dare you. Give me the money, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you dare, you dare. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a job. All right. <laughs> I'll get me boots. <laughs>